So how did you get your first placement? Um, came from a long, long relationship building. It's like um, over there, Street is X. From dealing with Travis Porter, well, from dealing with BRS Cash, because that was before I was maybe ten years ago when we was working. Dealing with him and getting over there at Street's X, dealing with Travis Porter, Travis Porter and Street's X, them to then Street's X growing as a management company to manage two channels. And then me, my relationship that I meet, I knew uh, DJ Issa who came yeah. to change DJ because the relationship I had from working with Travis Porter and BRS Cass turned into a relationship where I could, uh, I went to him one day and I said, I'm trying to get some beats to change. And, Took some beats over there. He recorded on one. Maybe like five minutes. He recorded on some other ones too while I wasn't there. And maybe like five, six months from the day he recorded. Yeah, he was calling me, telling me Drake got one. That's hard. Yeah, yeah literally. That's how it went. So you go like way back with like 2 chains and BRS Cash. Yeah, yeah. Cash was... Like 2012, it's 2022 now, 2012. And yeah, Cash, he was Rock Boy Cash back then. He was Cash Cash then. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, yeah, he was Cash Cash then. Um, yeah, we used to be sleeping on the floor at the homie Carlton House, Street of Porter House. Yeah, we got like a whole mixtape. We still got an email with like a whole mixtape we did back then. But he was, because he's, he's, Cash is strapped the fool from Travis Porter's cousin. Like their first cousins, like mm. their, their dads were brothers. So, you know, he was always, you know, little cuz hanging around Travis Porter, you know, he'd be, he'd be in there working his move though. Kept recording, kept working his move until he, you know what I'm saying, finally caught his hit. Now, nah, you know what I'm saying? That's how everything worked. So, what placement like stood out the most for you and why? Not a few of them. Uh, every, everyone mattered to me. So yeah, big big amount matters because it was my first one. Car casting mattered a lot because it was my next one. And it was with the Migos and it was um BBO with Migos and 21 Savage. That mattered because Kanye West was a co-producer on it. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, that mattered a lot. Um uh, Modern Slavery with Travis Scott and Quavo, that mattered because that was the first song that I like I used to like the sample sound, like the Kanye West type sound. And I got a sample clear. I never knew how that process worked. So that was my first time doing that. That mattered. Heat mattered because it was like, oh, y'all thought I only got to do with this trap shit. Y'all think I ain't think I can get, you know, R&B. You know what I'm saying? Don't stop with Meg when Thug mattered because it's like, y'all niggas thought I could just do nigga shit so I can do female shit, like female music too. And especially with female rap becoming as prominent and dominant as it is now. Um... Uh, X for a reason with Summer Walker and JT. That song was because it's like, yeah, I had heat, but I need another one. To let y'all know I still I really can do this R and B stuff. I really can, you know, tap in this world. So every record, every record had a, had a point. Like Kodak Senseless, that was a record where, where, let's say for like four or five months. I ain't had nothing drop, like not nothing independent, not nothing you, nothing drop. And, you know, I'm just like, all right, motherfucker, something about to drop. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then Kodak, he hit me one day, somebody wants some beats, and I'm like, all right, cool, send him some beats. Still waiting for him to drop, and he just dropped it out of nowhere, and it went like, it brought the other song back. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, and then, just started that new wave, like your third or fourth wave. Just started a whole new another wave with just, just music coming. And that's when you started. That's when Kodak, Summer Can, Two C Records, and just you know what I'm saying. It's just every record I look at is like a piece of, like a time stamp. You know what I'm saying? In my life, with different things that's going on. Um. Uh. Yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> no, I ain't lose it. I'm just gonna leave that one out. Okay. So speaking of, you know, the Codex song, um, you know you kind of created history there, like you you sampled yourself right. from, you know, and be a young boy makes no sense. So like what gave you the idea to sample your own song? Like, and do you think like there's any rules when it comes to sampling? Like you think what you did was like, you know? Uh 
to be exactly like a hundred percent honest, I didn't go back and sample my own song. I made beats. I have a sound. I have Buddha Bus beats. I know what it is. The flute, a little bass line, and then the eight away punch in. The producer community, I know what it is. A little four count, a little that type of thing. I just made a beat that a, a Buddha blesses beat sounding type beat. And when Kodak heard it, it made him feel like how made no sense made him feel. Right. So he went to go rap. I feel like I'm Kodak Black in 2015. He started to it don't make no sense. I be getting all the money though. You know, you know all that type he's doing. So that's the point where we actually had to go clear the record. I didn't, there's no master sample of my other song. In like it's this. like an actual sample. Yeah, no, it's, it's the sample part comes in when Kodak is saying what he's saying. Right. But I still love it because it, it brings out the genius of Make No Sense even more. Like, I, I clear samples and sync licenses for that song so crazy. Like, um, uh, the, the London artist, Digga D. His name Diggy D. Uh, he just saw called Two K Seventeen. Where he said, "I feel like I'm double tap with Two K Seventeen. Everybody, even even that song. Period. It's just like it's like a time stamping, timeless song. Like right. when you feeling like your best self, you can say, "Man, I feel like that line is kind of like legendary." Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm that damn motherfucker. You know? I feel like I'm Buddha blessed in 2016. Buddha blessed 2016. Now I'm something that nigga was hungry, like. Get into it. He sang T-shirt two days in a row going to every studio. Like, you know what I'm saying? So everybody, when they get back to your best self or your hungry self or whatever, you know, say, I feel like this. And it just brought out the genius in that song. Shani Ben Laden sampled the song. Like so many people, like that song, Keep Get Home comes back around like so much. Like so much that song come back around. Whether it be Instagram caption, whether it be other songs, sample people sampling it, like, you know. But Kodak really just put, you know, that's that's partly for his re- respect for just YB too, because him and y'all YB got their own little thing. That's kind of like, yeah, you know, little brotherhood. yeah, like little brotherhood competition, kind of like fuck you, but you are, you know what I'm saying, type thing. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you, but fuck you. Yeah, 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 type thing. But that's one thing that makes it makes it good. Um, he he's really brought the. The, like, the the light out on that song, it's, it gave that song a whole nother new... A new meaning? Yeah, like... Kind of stamped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he stamped a stamp song. And the thing about the Make No Sense song, it's like, man, that's just a song that's just, it was just supposed to be. The song was leaked eight months early. And it's still with a hit. Still double platinum, about to be triple platinum. That'd probably be triple platinum if it wasn't late, uh, leaked eight months early. It was called Tina Turner at first, though. The part mm-hmm. that got leaked, it was called Tina Turner. But they still put it on AI on Boy too, and still, it's everybody be like, "Hey man, you got something that made no sense?" Because all of my beats at that point was I was make this type of beat, make this beat here. Heat don't sound like big amount, big amount don't sound like out west, out west don't sound like made no sense, made no sense don't sound like call casting. None of that sounded like until none of my beats started having like this defined sound until I made make no sense, and then I would go in the studio and be like, "Hey man, you got something?" Like- so that kind of your sound. Yeah, and it's like, nah, well, yeah, that's y'all. I want that shit, though. Like, you know, you gotta... Everybody be requesting that one. Yeah, they go to IHOP to get pancakes. You gotta get a full spank case. No, for sure. So, tell us about, like, 2016 Buddha. Like, what are some struggles you faced, like, coming up as a producer? Um, uh, looking crazy, you know? It's just, it's just looking crazy, because all the time, at that point, I was 24. I had kids, and it was just like you're not providing for them how you could if you let's say secure the job at wherever you know right. what I'm saying, secure that apart a job, secure an apartment, secure all that type of stuff. It's just not securing all that, you know what I'm saying? So it makes a situation where it's like a sacrifice, and then what you so okay, so then what I'm saying, I'm not saying for everybody, I'm saying for me, and it's like okay, so what you sacrifice it. Sacrificing time. Time from what? Being able to secure things. If you want to secure things, we have me a girl start, goddamn, like, oh my God, we got kids, you know what I'm saying? We got feet stuff, you know what I'm saying? So right. I mean, she started doing things to go. When she could have held it down, you know, I'm gonna get a job and help things out because I see this man is ambitious, but you know, they all don't do that. They all don't everybody all. don't see the vision. Only special everybody don't see the vision. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I ain't saying I say something that I knock her for, but it's like not seeing it, but it's just like or not them. I'm going to say them. I ain't going to even say her. I'm going to say all y'all. Not all y'all, but um, 
I mean, it could have been anybody on your it's, team. Like it's, everybody it's, on just, it's, just, it's just that challenging part thing. Like, you know, it's just hard to really see, like, the broke kid in front of you, like, the millionaire five years from now, like, or the multi-platinum hit maker five. Like, it's hard to see it. Like, you can hear the piece, but like, man, this look like sound good. I never, nobody ever doubted me. I never felt like, I don't think you're going to make it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just a situation where it's like, you're not making it, so where's the money? Or where's the situation? Where's this? Where's that? And that's just, uh, you know, for my kids, that, that, was, that was my biggest struggle, not being able to provide for them at that time. And the things, me not being able to provide for them at that time, the after effects of that to where, you know, you ain't secure the girl, the house ain't secure, then she, you know, move on and then go and then, you know, step that in shit, and, you know. But then you do get it and it's just like, I told you, I told you, you only have to wait two, three more years. You don't have to wait without a house. Now I gotta have you, I got another baby mom now. They got, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Like, it's just, that's just, I feel like, and that's my biggest sacrifice in music. Like, um, you know, time for my kids, like 2016. And then when I got that call, I got a text from DJ Issa saying, man, Drake got on it. It was just like, oh my God. Life change. It made sense. It made sense in that one text message. It made sense. You know what I'm saying? All the sacrifices worth it. It made sense. You know, it then it made sense, but it had to keep making sense. Back ahead, keep working, and keep right. doing, and keep doing. But yeah, yeah. So what would you say, if you knew what you knew now, what would you do differently back then? Like, if I knew, if I knew the date that I was going to get on, if I knew I was going to have a 2 James and Drake song, like, or are you saying, like, different lessons? Like, different lessons that you learned, like, what would you have done differently? Um, I, I can't see anything. Because it's like... You would have kept the same process. Yeah, I was always true to my craft. I was always true to the music. I never was just like a, oh, I seen a nigga make a beat and that shit went up and he got paid for that motherfucker. That shit was shit. That shit is it's a lick. I never looked at music as a lick. I always looked at it as something I just love. I always study the craft. I always study the grace. I always study things that work, things that didn't work. Um, you was true to yourself. Yeah. True, That's to, the true, true to the music. I always felt like I was. So, you know, it's, it's just, it's different life things, I guess I say I do different like music career wise and me going to the studio and saying no to this and saying no to that and just staying down. I wouldn't like that. It's different little life situations, like different, you know, dealing with these people, not dealing with these people, that type of situation. But I, I can't say like, man, if I knew what I knew now, I would have had did a cartwheel and da, 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 been here. Like, no, nah, every L within a lost people is more of a lesson. You know, kind nah, of, yeah, know? yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't take L's. Right. It's only an L if the game is over. You know what I'm saying? That's a good like, term. if you play if you're playing ball, I play ball. I remember playing ball. Shit, they get the, the clock gonna say four zero fourth quarter zero zero zero. They keep playing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And as long as I'm, you know what I'm saying? I got time to make the wrong right or make the wrong make sense or make the dumb make some type of sense because I got really smart from being really dumb. Right.